So, picture this. On a long road trip, beautiful highways, sunshine, your favorite playlist in the background. Suddenly, you notice two massive towers standing beside the road. One is carrying a single set of power lines. The other one, double the wires, almost like it went to the gym and bulked up. Ever wondered why some towers carry only one set of conductors and others have two? That's exactly what we're diving into today. The interesting world of single circuit versus double circuit transmission line designs. Alright, let's kick it off with a simple idea. A single circuit transmission line is like a one lane highway. It's meant for one way traffic. Well, in electrical terms, one set of three phase conductors. That's right. Just three conductors for R, Y and B phases. And maybe one ground wire chilling at the top. On the other hand, a double circuit transmission line is like a double lane highway. It carries two independent circuits on the same tower. So instead of just three phase wires, you now see six, two sets of three. Double the power, double the complexity, double the drama. You might be thinking, okay, more wires mean more electricity, right? And you'd be spot on. Double circuit lines are typically used when more power needs to be transferred through the same corridor. Think of big cities, industrial zones, or critical power routes where downtime is not an option. But then you might wonder, why not just use double circuit everywhere? Good question, Sherlock. Double circuit towers cost more, need more land clearance, and are heavier. So they're not the default choice. Utilities install them only when demand or reliability justifies it. It's like building a guest room in your house just in case. Great, but only if you can afford it. Here's a perk. If one circuit fails, the second one might temporarily handle the load, especially if both circuits operate at the same voltage. It's like having a spare tire in your trunk, or better yet, a clone of yourself to take over when you're tired. Now imagine you're designing a transmission line for a rapidly growing city. The land's expensive. Power demand is booming. What would you go for? A simple single circuit or an investment into a future-proof double circuit? Let me know your choice in the comments. I'd love to hear how you think. In double circuits, mutual inductance, reactance, and line parameters become more complex. Faults can arc between circuits if not properly insulated. Corona loss? Yep, double trouble if not handled right. So careful design is everything. That's why engineers don't just copy-paste single circuits into double setups. It's a whole new game. Next time you're outside, spot a tower with six conductors. What do you think? Double circuit or just a weird configuration? Let me know in the comments. And if you've ever worked on or seen a double circuit tower being built, share your story. Let's make this a community discussion. Before we wrap up, don't forget. Hit the like button if you learned something new today. Subscribe if you're new here and share this video with your classmates or colleagues who love power systems as much as we do. If you're feeling extra generous, click on the thanks button right below this video to support the channel. And hey, our join button is also there if you'd like to unlock special perks, behind the scenes stuff, and become part of our VIP Electrology community. So, whether you're a fan of simplicity like single circuits or all about power like double circuits, just remember, they each have their place in this vast electrical grid. And next time you pass by a tower, don't just glance. Look up and think, single or double. Stay curious, stay electrified, and remember, knowledge isn't just power, it's high voltage. See you in the next video.